Welcome to Amazing Life One Channel Guides Today you watching Emma Watson Biography Lifestyle and more I hope you enjoy this video like share subscribe channel thank you for watching video. Emma Watson Biography Emma Charlotte Dwyer Watson, born 15 April 1990, is an English actress and activist. Known for her roles in both blockbusters and independent films, as well as for her women's rights work, she has received a selection of accolades, including a Young Artist Award and three MTV Movie Awards. Watson has been ranked among the world's highest paid actresses by Forbes and Vanity Fair, and was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine in 2015. 1, 2, 3, Emma Watson Watson at the 2013 Cannes Film Festival Born Emma Charlotte Dwyer Watson 15 April 1990, age 32, Paris, France Nationality British Alma Mater Brown University, BA, Occupation Actress Activist Years Active 1999 Precent Words Full List Watson attended the Dragon School and trained in acting at the Oxford branch of Stagecoach Theatre Arts. As a child, she rose to stardom after landing her first professional acting role as Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter film series, having previously acted only in school plays. Watson also starred in the 2007 television adaptation of the novel Ballet Shoes and lent her voice to the tale of Despero 2008. After the final Harry Potter film, she took on a supporting role in My Week with Marilyn 2011 before starring as Sam, a flirtatious, free-spirited student in The Perks of Being a Wallflower 2012 to critical success. Further acclaim came from portraying Alexis Nyers in Sofia Coppola's The Bling Ring 2013 and the titular character's adoptive daughter in Darren Aronofsky's biblical epic Noah. That same year, Watson was honored by the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, winning British Artist of the Year. She also starred as Belle in the live-action adaptation of the musical romantic fantasy Beauty and the Beast 2017, which ranks among the highest-grossing films of all time, and Meg March and Greta Gerwig's coming-of-age drama Little Women 2019. From 2011 to 2014, Watson split her time between working on films and continuing her education, graduating from Brown University with a bachelor's degree in English literature in May 2014. That year, she was appointed a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador and helped launch the UN Women Campaign Hefersh, which advocates for gender equality. In 2018, she helped launch Times Up UK as a founding member. Watson was appointed to AG7 Advisory Body for Women's Rights in 2019, consulting with leaders on foreign policy. Her modeling work has included campaigns for Burberry and Lancome. She also lent her name to a clothing line for the sustainable brand People Tree. In 2020, she joined the board of directors of Caring, a luxury brand group, in her capacity as an advocate for sustainable fashion. Early life and education Emma Charlotte Ware Watson IV was born on 15 April 1990 in Paris, to English lawyers Chris Watson and Jacqueline Loosby. 5, 6, 7, 8. Watson lived in Maisons Lafitte near Paris until age 5. Her parents divorced when she was young, and Watson moved to England to live with her mother in Oxfordshire while spending weekends at her father's house in London. 6 9. Watson has said she speaks some French, though, not as well, as she used to. 10. After moving to Oxford with her mother and brother, she attended the Dragon School, remaining there until 2003. 6. From age 6, she wanted to become an actress, 11, and trained at the Oxford branch of Stagecoach Theatre Arts, a part-time theatre school where she studied singing, dancing, and acting. 12 by age 10, Watson had performed in Stagecoach productions and school plays including Arthur, The Young Years and The Happy Prince, 13, but she had never acted professionally prior to the Harry Potter series. After the Dragon School, Watson moved on to Headington School, Oxford, 6. While on film sets, she and her castmates were tutored for up to five hours a day. 14. In June 2006, she took GCSE school examinations in 10 subjects, achieving 8A asterisk and 2A grades. In May 2007, she took as levels in English, Geography, Art, and History of Art. The following year, she dropped History of Art to pursue the three A levels, receiving an A grade in each subject. 6, 15, 16, Watson took a gap year after finishing secondary school, 17, to film Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, parts 1 and 2 beginning in February 2009, 18. 
but asserted that she intended to continue her studies 19 and later confirmed she had chosen Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. 20. In March 2011, after 18 months at the university, Watson announced she was deferring her course for a semester or two, 21 though she attended Worcester College, Oxford during the 2011-12 academic year as part of the visiting student program. 22-23. In a 2014 interview on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Watson said just before graduation that it took five years to finish her degree instead of four because, owing to her acting work, she ended up taking two full semesters off. 24. On the 25th of May 2014, she graduated from Brown University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English Literature. 25 Personal Life In a 2019 interview, Watson stated she divides her time between London and New York City. 168. She refuses to publicly discuss her romantic relationships, stating, I can't talk about my boyfriend in an interview and then expect people not to take paparazzi pictures of me walking around outside my home. You can't have it both ways. 100. She began a relationship with American businessman Leo Robinton in 2019, 205. They split in 2021, at which point she became linked to Brandon Green, son of controversial billionaire Sir Philip Green. 206 When asked about her faith in 2014, Watson described herself as a spiritual universalist. 207. In February 2016, Watson was appointed visiting fellow at Lady Margaret Hall, Oxford University. 208 On coping with intense fame from a young age, she has said that remaining rooted in her own identity helped her eventually find peace. 209 In 2013, she had become certified to teach yoga and meditation. As part of this certification, she attended a week-long meditation course at a Canadian facility, in which residents are not allowed to speak, in order to figure out how to be at home with myself. 210-211 Regarding her meditation training, she stated in an interview with Elle Australia that an uncertain future meant finding a way to always feel safe and at home within myself. Because I can never rely on a physical place. 212 Acting Career 1999-2009 Harry Potter and Worldwide Recognition in 1999 Casting began for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the film adaptation of British author J. K. Rowling's best-selling novel. Casting agents found Watson through her Oxford theatre teacher, and producers were impressed by her confidence. After eight auditions, producer David Heyman told Watson and fellow applicants Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint that they had been cast in the roles of the school friends Hermione Granger, Harry Potter and Ron Weasley, respectively. Rowling supported Watson from her first screen test. 11th Watson at the premiere of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire in November 2005 The release of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 2001 was Watson's debut screen performance. The film broke records for opening day sales and opening weekend takings and was the highest grossing film of 2001, 26-27. Critics singled out Watson for particular acclaim, the Daily Telegraph called her performance, admirable, 28. And IGN said she, stole the show, 29. Watson was nominated for, five awards for her performance in Philosopher's Stone, winning the Young Artist Award for Leading Young Actress, 30. A year later, Watson reprised her role as Hermione in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the second installment of the series. Reviewers praised the lead actor's performances. The Los Angeles Times said Watson and her co-stars had matured between films, 31. While the Times criticized director Chris Columbus for underemploying Watson's hugely popular character, 32. Watson received an Otto Award from the German magazine Bravo for her performance, 33. In 2004, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban was released. Watson was appreciative of the more assertive role Hermione played, calling her charismatic and a fantastic role to play, 34. Critics lauded Watson's performance, a. Oh. Scott of the New York Times remarked. Luckily Mr. Radcliffe's blandness is offset by Ms. Watson's spiky impatience. Harry may show off his expanding wizardly skills, but Hermione earns the loudest applause with a decidedly unmagical punch to Draco Malfoy's deserving nose. 35. 
Although Prisoner of Azkaban proved to be the lowest grossing Harry Potter film in the entire series, Watson's personal performance won her two Otto Awards and the Child Performance of the Year Award from Total Film. 36-37 with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, 2005 both Watson and the Harry